Hello guys, today I will be ranking the top 10 hybrid stat builds in Blocks Fruits. Oh, and by the way, the stats are this. I only put 285 in melee because I like having extra points in melee. You don't need them though. Okay, so on the number 10 spot, we have Light and Buddy Sword. So how is this build good? Basically, Buddy Sword has range and combo potential, and Light has range and combo potential, so it, fi it fits perfectly together. The build does amazing damage, the build has uh, amazing range, yes, um, and you can spam it from far, so basically if you're uh, the type of person that does not like fighting people from close and keep dist distances uh, to fight from far, this is the build you should use, and yeah. Next is Ghost and CDK. This build seems really weird, but it, it's really good. Like, with the E Claw combo, you can 100% one shot your opponent if you have Cyborg V3, and if you're fast enough to land a combo, of course. Um, so, yes, the build has insane combo potential, but it's more of a close range build. If you like fighting people close range or like that kind of means. If you like rushing towards people, this is the build you should use. And um, you can also use Ghost V to confuse your opponents and I guess deal extra damage with the Ghost moves replicated. And deal and do extra stuns. Oh yeah, and you can also um, make the clones deal damage while you stun your opponent, which is also quite OP. So yeah, that was for the number 9 spot. Next on the number 8 spot, we have Spider and Dark Blade. This build is really, really, it's a really weird combination, but it fits really well. So basically, both... Uh, Dark Blade and String have insane combo potential, um, insane c range, but also a few close range moves like Dark Blade, the Z move is close range, and the X move is really long range. Um, but I don't recommend like using, I mean, Dark Blade moves just to um, get lucky and hit them because that won't happen sadly. You need to hit the string moves first and then hit your opponent with a fast quick dark blade combo with string. Separately they do both like insane damage like dark blade does 10,000 damage alone with these hybrid stats and string does way more because it's a fruit. But yeah a really good combination that I recommend to use if you have enough experience with string in pvp next is portal with tushita or gravity cane so why tushita or gravity cane because portal both has stuns and speed moves so basically the moves are executed like really fast which is what i mean by speed and Tushida is also executed really fast, but it also has stun and Tushida is not that good for the stun, so that's why I chose Gravity King as another option for the people who prefer stunning. Uh, Portal has insane stuns too, so with Gravity King it makes a really good combination. And both Tushida and Gravity can do really good damage, so it fits really well with Portal. Personally, I prefer Gravity Cane because, I don't know, the effects look better and it's cooler. But Tushida is also cool, it's just a bit less good in my opinion. But if you're the type of person that wants to get fast kills, and that is skilled, use Tushida. But if you're more of a person that prefers comboing a person slowly but surely, use Gravity King. Mm -hmm. 
next is control plus coco from now on the builds are starting to get skillless brain dead so why is control plus coco good because with control coco has um like insane range the z move has um like 1.5 times bigger dash range and the x move has the range of the bubble so basically if your opponent is in the bubble you can hit them with the x move wherever they are you just need to aim and let go of the x key then you deal free damage and also what i recommend doing with control if you're a beginner just open your area um if your opponent goes out of your area don't chase them stay safe but if they stay in your area try to like um teleport everywhere and spam coco x and z but don't spam control c and v because these moves are punishable but you can spam levitate in control 2 because it doesn't it isn't that punishable at all and it is very spammy mean, meaning its cooldown is really fast so overall a really good build and the damage on both coco and control are very good especially control so yeah and with cyborg this build goes crazy next is ice plus dragon trident um the only thing that's holding back ice b is that it's undoable in the air but dragon trident is the solution to it you can literally bring your opponent down and it stuns them down so when they're down and stunned you do ice v and combo them in your deadly one shot unescapable combo then they can't do anything about it if you do cyborg v3 you pop that up and do a combo the opponent cannot escape because they can't can trick the combo if you're using cyborg v3 and you're fast enough so yeah it's a really good build you cannot spam ice though but you can spam dragon trident if you want next is but a plus shark anchor this build is unexplainably op it has entered a new level of skillless when i say buddha plus shark anchor you don't even need to click to kill your opponents literally just use the buddha skills um i recommend using buddha c the most and buddha v but don't use the other skills and shark anchor z and x both of shark anchor z and x are like long range moves um, some of you guys are confused right now because shark anchor x without buddha transformation is not long range but trust me with the transformation you will not move so this skill i mean this build requires absolutely no skill zero skill okay guys um I know that using the Buddha skills doesn't sound really convincing, but the C move alone, if directly hit, the 6,500 damage on an NPC, which is 4,500 damage on a player. Um, and the V move does even more. Next is T-Rex and Spiky Trident. Yes, on top of being able to use the t-rex transformation at will and spam skills go far from your enemy and then they get insane take damage on top of being able to do that you can not be transformed and combo your opponents like crazy the combos you can do with t-rex on spiky trident are even better than like any all or almost any ice combos because they're less escapable and do more damage because t-rex literally just does more damage than ice so basically what i recommend doing with t-rex is getting close to them and while not being transformed um then you do the x kill you pull them in and then you push them out then you uh do spiky trident x and combo them um 
But if you're transformed, I recommend just charging at them and then running away, charging at them, running away. Next is Kitsune plus True Triple Katana. I know some of you guys, I know a lot of you guys are, su are surprised that this is not first, but you'll see the first one, it's crazy. Um, but why Kitsune plus True Triple Katana? It's because Foxen doesn't even fit Kitsune that well. True Triple Katana has better combo potential with Kitsune and the skills are more similar to Kitsune than Fox Lamb. Um, so basically what you should do with this build is like hit them from far with Foxfire Disruption from Kitsune, then do True Triple Katana X, then go to the Tornado and do the Z move of True Triple Katana, then just combo them again. Um, you keep doing that as much as you want. Oh yeah, and I forgot, you can also transform with Kitsune. Number one spot, Dragon plus Fox Lamp. Yes, this build is unstoppable. And I know some of you guys are gonna debate me in the comments that, oh, Kitsune is better than Dragon. But believe me, Dragon plus Fox Lamp? The combo that you can use with this is crazy, no one uses this. When you hit them with Dragonic Claw, which you will probably, they cannot Ken Trick anymore because it breaks their Ken with the Fire Tick damage. Um, and also, I know that you cannot hit Fire Shower, the Dragon Sea move, in the air, but if you want an air fight just use your transformation and spam dragonic claw heat wave beam um a bunch of times let your opponent hit you to regain back furry meter then regen run and spam the skills again it's absolutely broken this build is underrated and it's already the best build w without even the dragon rework so yes guys, that was all for this video, um, I hope you agree with this tier list, as I said please be respectful if you debate, and I hope you have fun using these builds if you're even gonna try them out by the way. Uh, I really really recommend these hybrid stats, they're actually really OP, I know that you think you might think that fighting styles are better than swords because they have three skills but they're kind of equal because um swords do more damage than fighting styles um and also i think swords are better because they're more varied the only problem with this build is that you're gonna have less energy